Well, good morning. I'm going to do something different today. I'm going to pray at the beginning of our devotional rather than at the end. Our Heavenly Father, we thank Thee for another day of life. We thank Thee, Lord, for the prospect of Your blessing upon us today as Thou hast been faithful to bless us down across the many years of our life. We thank Thee, O Lord, that we have this opportunity of sharing with our friends and our church family just a few minutes of our time this morning. Lord, we know that we live in a world that is under the curse of sin. We live in a world where the Bible says that many would be the afflictions of the righteous. We live in a world where we can expect troublesome times. And Lord, there are times we go through the suffering. And as we attempt to deal with this subject of suffering today, we pray that thou wilt use us and make us a blessing to that one that is going through some kind of uh, trouble and distress in their life that is bringing suffering in some way. Do have your way in each one of our hearts, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, well, you know, the psalmist said, It is good for me that I have been afflicted. Kind of a strange verse, isn't it? It is good for me that I have been afflicted. Usually when we suffer, we can only see the problems that are involved. And uh, I know that a lot of times we are just overwhelmed by the different circumstances or situations of our life and seem like that all we can see is the darkness round about. And if we are not careful during those troublesome times, well, we're going to find that suffering can be detrimental. Suffering can be harmful. But the psalmist said, it's good for me that I have been afflicted. And I believe that if we will remain faithful, that there are some favorable results that can happen because we have remained faithful. Now Job, one of the oldest of all Bible characters, or I should say the oldest of all Bible characters, as far as uh, Bible scholars are able to determine, he went through uh, perhaps greater trial than anyone else on the face of this earth. We know all about the troubles of Job. And you know, Job was uh, really going through the difficult times. He had lost all that he had. And not only had he lost his family and his possessions, but his health had been afflicted. And he was sitting out on an ash pile with uh, boils from head to toe. And you know, his wife came out. That was about the only thing that God left him of his family was uh, uh, maybe at times a nagging wife. And she looked at old Job and all of his suffering, and she said, Job, why don't you just curse God and die? Well, Job was able to say, The Lord giveth and the Lord taketh. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In another place he said, Though he slay me, yet will I trust him. So if we can just remain faithful in the times of tribulation or times of affliction, those times when the distress is uh, overwhelming, we can remain faithful. There are some favor favorable things that will happen. And I think for probably two or three days here, I'm just going to consider some of the favorable things that can take place and why it is that we can say along with the psalmist, it is good for me that I have been afflicted. First of all, suffering gives us an opportunity to prove our commitment to God. You know, 1 Peter 1, 6 and 7, as gold is purified by passing through the fire, so the genuineness of our faith is proved by trials. And, uh, you know, if, if suffering was limited only to the sinner and Christians never suffered, then everybody would want to be a Christian, not because they love God, but just to be able to escape earthly problems. But the fact is that Christians are going to suffer. And, uh, you know, it shows that we are willing to remain faithful even when it's difficult to be faithful. And again, I say that Job said, Though he slay me, yet will I trust him. And, you know, I believe that the whole purpose of Job's affliction, the whole idea of, of God allowing Satan to treat Job as he did, was to prove that Job did not serve him because God had blessed him, but that God, uh, Job served him because he loved God. You know, that's what Satan accused God of. 
He's only serving you because you've been so good to him. And God said, take everything that he has and I'll prove to you that Job will still be faithful. So those times of affliction, those times of trouble, they give us an opportunity to prove our commitment to God. What a testimony we can give. What a witness we can be. What an influence we can exert if we'll remain faithful to God in the midst of suffering and tribulation. Well, thanks for letting me share, and we'll deal with this a little bit more tomorrow on Sunrise with Pastor Hayton. Goodbye now.